It's right. the delivery part that's rough. All right. All right. Yeah. In the natural, you know, conceiving children, it's no problem. It's giving birth to them, but the problems come. The pain comes during the delivery time. No revelation tonight that there will never be a great revival unless pain is experienced. We hear about churches and our fellowship having great revivals and to God be the glory. But see, we don't know the whole story. But trust me, you were taught that that pastor or that congregation of people, they will tell you before they gave birth to that thing, that was some pain. The conception part was easy. But in the time when it came to bring delivery, that's when the struggles came. Let's look at the scripture says that it says that Rachel, she saw that she married Jacob, no children. This bothered Rachel. But she wanted to give Jacob some children. Remember, she was the favorite of all the wives that he had. And she wanted to bless him by giving him children. To her, Having no that was an option to Rachel. She know I, I gotta have some children. Yeah. So I want to say she goes to Jacob each day and says, "I want you to. I want children. Give me children, I said, I gotta have some children." Yeah. And I can hear Jacob probably telling her, "Wait, Rachel, you don't know what you're asking for. Yeah. Rachel, you don't know what you're asking. Yeah, I just, I just like my sister. I want to have some children. But hey, did you notice your children, your sister? Did you notice the pain your sister?" Do you understand the struggle that your sister had? Are you sure, Rachel, that you're going to have children? Yes, you give me children, let's not die. But Rachel, you don't know the whole story. But in times of delivery, that's complication. In times of delivery, that's all this comfort. Now, are you sure you're holding our child? And let me say it this way. We cry out, God, give us revival. Are we sure we won't revive? Come on. Don't be 
in those years of serving God, revivals will expose what's hidden. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, the blanket off some stuff. That could be something you never know going on. The revival kicks up. When the revival starts stirring up, watch the devil stand up in the church. It just tends to happen. That's a symptom. That's a symptom. The purpose of revival is for you to deal with it when it steps up. Not run from it, you ask for it now. Don't, don't try to hide from it, you ask for this. Don't try to ignore it, you ask for this. You told me you wanted revival, so I'm going to give you revival. But I'm going to shake every devil in hell that's sitting over here. I'm going to stir up the thing I can serve. And when I stir it up, I expect you to deal with it.
Revival comes after the pain. So because of the pain, because of the trouble, they didn't have a strength. And I'm telling you, in time of revival, if you if you just don't, if you don't realize it, that devil will try to drain you of everything that you got. It's trying to bring that thing that first you don't have strength. Okay. He'll fight you from every side. Yeah. North, south, east, and west. Okay. You know you already ready to give birth. But you just don't have the spirit. Okay. And you even though you're trying, that time you feel like throwing in the towel. You feel like walking away. But remember, you are the one that asked for this, Rachel. Okay. You're the one that said you wanted it, Rachel. Yeah. And yeah. so now it's come to the time. Remember, I can't take all of this. I can't take pain from the right and pain. I can't take trouble in front of me and trouble in the back of me. I don't know if I can handle this or not. And so I'm going to see me come to weaker. And she becomes weaker. This is what I encourage us today. We better make sure this is what we want. Because God has already set no go. And God wants to give birth to the church. But I have to have us calling the Bible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God wants to have a mighty demonstration of the power. Oh, my God. 
and they made me ready to come to earth. Doctors, I found this out that doctors don't really do nothing. <laughs> the mothers do. They just kind of stand over, make sure there's no problem, but mama do all the work. Yeah. And they'll sit back and say, push, push. She says, that's straight. He said, come on, push, push. And he's trying to encourage this mom. Push. You're almost there. Push. You're all in all this pain. He said, Mama, push. Come on, girl, push. And she's screaming. Come on, you gotta push. What do you say? Sometimes, folks, it works like that spiritually. Sometimes we're just so wore out. I mean, sometimes we just meet ourselves coming and going. We just been worn out by the atmosphere. But yet, God is saying, Come on, church, you gotta push. Come on, you gotta push. You're almost there. You're Champion. Yeah. Champion. But you know why? Some of this hell I wouldn't 
me to go. Come on. Huh? Yeah. Champions don't run. Come on, try it. Hello? Come on, come on. Champions don't run. Come on. Champions don't have quit here. No, sorry, yeah. Watch it. You ever see a fight and fight, they beat the tip up, they try to make you quit, he won't quit. Right. Come on. Champions don't have quit in Right. That's not an option. Not an option. All right. You gotta Come knock them out. Come on, brother. Yeah. If you don't knock them out, they'll stay right there and fight back. Right. And you're gonna stay here. Yeah. So on. we pick, we know that certain door is to the devil tonight. Yes, we have been through some hell. Yeah. We have been through some pain. Yeah. Yeah. But trust me, we're gonna give this thing birth. Yeah. We're gonna give birth to the God. Yeah. We're gonna give birth to God that's gonna see the best. As a man thinking, so easy. If you think you won't have, you won't have. Right. You gotta start thinking big. Yes. But he's able to exceed. Yes. Come on, here, bro. He's able to do exceed. Yes. And he wants your mind to come in. Yes. That's what you're in. God can be on this church at the six months time and got you looking someplace else to go. Because it's God's church. It's God's church. Come on, here. It's God's church. And God has to take in the church to get a birth to soul. Some of you say, but it hurts. 
Let it hurt. But again, let it hurt. I know it hurts. But you said you wanted revival. You said you wanted revival. I don't know if I can handle much. I know, but you said you wanted revival. This pain, I don't know if I can take much more of this pain, but you said you wanted revival, Rachel. You said you wanted it. But I don't know about this. I just can't put up with this much longer. This to seem like ain't nothing moving, ain't nothing happening. It's like we're in a standstill. But you said you wanted revival, didn't you? And I told you it won't come unless pain comes first. And the pain that you're feeling now, sir, the pain you're feeling now, ma'am, as I told you earlier, that's a symptom you got to give birth. You, that's a symptom. Oh, how Jesus. Holy Ghost. I want you praying right now. I want you to get out of the way. I want you praying right where you're standing. If you feel free to come, that's fine. I want you to pray right where you're standing. God, give us strength to give birth to the revival you've already been pregnant in us with. Give us strength, Lord. Give us strength. Give us strength. I thought about throwing in the towel here, yeah, but you asked for this one. I thought about quitting here, yeah, but you asked for this one. I thought about running away here, yeah, but you asked for this one. I thought about closing the doors here, yeah, but you asked for this one. So now you got to endure the pain that comes with it. No child comes without pain. No revival comes without pain. Pray, church. Come on, let's pray, people of God. Let's touch the throne of God with our prayer. Come on, we got to we got this front part open and you let not to come pray. Let's come and open your hearts up before God and say, Lord, I come before you. Lord, tonight. 
Thank you. 